so there's a club here in town called Bottoms Up. Yeah. And it is a uh, full nude non-alcoholic, okay? Yeah. Uh, but number one, the, the, the sinks in the bathroom don't work. You can't wash your hands there. And oh, they have perfect. not worked in 20 years. I know perfect. that because I've been going there every once in a while for across 20 years, okay? Yeah. Um, there's always five girls dancing. One is attractive. Two are, are, are mid. Uh, three are ugly. And the three ugly ones are there to make the two mid girls look better, okay? Yeah. But my favorite story, uh, back in the day, I was shooting content uh, to sell on the internet, uh, you know, mostly like R-rated stuff with a little bit of X, but nothing like it was just shooting photos, right? Swimsuit photos, bear photos, a little bit of, you know, touching themselves photos. But it was really hard to sell this stuff even back then. We're talking like 99. So I would go to these clubs to to meet the girls, pass out my card. Hey, you want to make 100 bucks an hour? Come back to my place, you know, shoot them, spend 250 bucks the content, sell for a couple grand, make good money. So there was one girl that was always at that club and her stage name was Cricket. And she was always pregnant. She <laughs> only danced when she was pregnant. She was just only pre she's always pregnant perpetually. Now, now, you guys know I have implants. I still have more teeth right now than she did, which which is two two giant teeth. Um the top row and the bottom row. She had less teeth than that. And she was not an attractive woman by any stretch of the imagination. She was also like four foot ten and weighed like 90 pounds. So she was mostly baby when she was pregnant. It was like 90% baby. She <laughs> would walk up to you smelling like dog shit and weed. Oh my god. She would put her pregnant belly on you, and then through her missing teeth, she would say, Hey, they you on the dance? To which you would absolutely say no and then she would not leave until you tipped her her entire bit was i'm sure there's guys that were into that for whatever reason but for the everyone else all the human beings who who do not hate themselves and do not want to be harassed by a pregnant meth head uh the deal was you give her two bucks she leaves you have to give her two dollars and she'll leave you two dollars is not bad she'll come back a couple hours later <laughs> Hey baby, you changed your mind about that live dance. I got no, 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 no. I'm never gonna change my mind, Cricket. Please, please stop. Hey, you want to shoot me? I got I'm pregnant. I bet that sells well. No, no, I absolutely do not want to take photos of your meth mouth while your unborn child is in there. That's oh not a God. yeah, yeah. Not I a, there was there's only one pregnant lady at the place I went the other day, and she looked pretty good beside the baby bump, you know, which is fine, whatever. Some dudes are into that. But dude, it's pretty classy. It's pretty classy, but it's not like Charlotte the Harlot back where I used to live. This lady would walk around in like a big t shirt and she looked like she was like 70, but she was like 30, meth mouth, and she just asked you for money so she could buy underwear. She wow. was so I worked at the GameStop there and I would go out to my car after a shift or before a shift and she'd be like She'd knock on my window, and I'm like, God damn it. And then she'd be like, you have any money for, for underwear? And I'm like, no. You asked me this like once a week. 